Well, we've brought them up now. The elephant in the room, Tism. They haven't played any shows in more than 18 years. That's not exactly what you might call hard and heavy, but trust me when I say it, you need to hear this chat with them. I don't get a word in. I don't. I just get slaughtered. So if this is your first introduction to Tism, may luck be with you. Hold on tight. This is their interpretation of for those about to rock. Cannot believe we're doing this. Tism on Triple M Hard and Heavy. They'll join me next. Triple M Hard and Heavy, this is the Good Things Takeover, chatting with a lot of the bands that have made it onto the bill. 
which you'll be able to see IRL. December 2, 3 and 4, Melbourne, Sydney and Brizzy respectively. Oztix.com.au. There is one band that we have waited nearly two decades to speak with. They're on Zoom right... Hayden, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, Hayden, this is Ron Hitler Barassi and we've come back after 19 years to share our regrets, especially you and your show. We've picked that out because loud music leads to ringing of the ears, rock and roll leads to liver diseases and in my case a perforated bowel. Rock and roll leads to many ills. We want your listeners to know to stop listening to loud music, start investing in superannuation and understand the rigours and joys of compound interest. That's our message, Hayden. How's it going, Hayden? Uh, it's very good. Great very rock good. happening on Triple M lately? Uh, look, yeah, I mean, you know, we're obviously <laughs> dancing on our own graves like Andrew Tremaine, the Socceroos goalkeeper, doing an interpretive version of mm. Tism's Return. Mm. Uh, the only difference, of course, is that he was successful and actually saved a penalty, whereas... We're all just in a madcap race to see which of us gets prostate cancer first. <laughs> what I want to say is real men die on the job, and we're planning to do that mm. uh, at uh, the Good Things Festival. Mm. Um, you know, Good Things, they've got a very strong marketing wing, and they realise that kids don't give a f about music anymore. So yeah. how are they going to get uh, tickets sold? Mm. So what they're going to sort of do is is corner the snuff rock market. Mm. And if you want snuff rock, well, we're the band for you, Hayden, because mm. there's a very <laughs> strong chance that one of us is going to die during the show. But it's important to know it's not going to be like one of your groovy rock deaths, you know, your glamorous no, right. ones. It no. is going to be from years-long complications from diabetes, that sort of thing, Hayden. We'll actually have a doctor on hand to announce to the audience this death was mainly through, well... Advanced Alzheimer's in the case of our keyboardist, as you'll find out when he tries to sing. But it'll certainly be a death that reinforces the message that, well, as corporeal beings, we have nothing to look for. Like um, Nietzsche said, Hayden, the truth yeah. is terrible. And I want to say, Hayden, to all the girls out there, uh, my uric poisoning is rising like the coloured bit in the bottom of a thermometer. I'm sure that'll probably attract the, uh, you know, the girls out there to come along to the show and... Watch me slowly turn yellow and collapse. We're from an older generation, Hayden, but yes. I'm actually heartened by the kid Leroy because I don't think we have enough rock stars with the name Roy anymore. I mean, I actually used to teach the kid Leroy when he was just Roy, plain old Roy in year nine uh, in Baronia, actually, and I know that he was um, inspired to join rock and roll from the uh, Dead Kennedys song, Holiday in Baronia. Do you know that one, Hayden? <laughs> I thought it was Cambodia, but... No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Baroni no. is the mean streets, yeah. uh, but I mean that in a statistical way. <laughs> hey, do they pay you to ask questions? You just sit there wanking. Like, what's going on? You haven't given us... Could you go have a producer taken out and shot? That's what it's like at Triple M. You corporate shill. You sell out. What's next? Some oil company sponsoring this show? Is it Hayden? <laughs> I'm like just midnight oil? Stunned. You think the clue's in the name, Hayden? They were working from within. <laughs> the only reason we're playing this bloody good times thing is so we can send our kids to private schools. The same private schools as Midnight Oil, mate. When midnight you guys... Oil, it's in the name. <laughs> Talk about hiding in plain sight. You and your overlords won't allow the truth to be out. Like <clears throat> Tim Smith from Q. Think of that, Hayden. Q. The suburb Q, just like the conspiracy theory. Now, this is a this is probably a little <clears throat> bit of, of an exclusive for you. Tim Smith's going to be driving our tour bus. Now, <laughs> Tim Smith, he can't get his freaking Jaguar through Camberwell Junction. How's he going to drive us up to Brisbane, Hayden? <laughs> it's well, if we don't get cancelled first. Anyway, oh. have you got anything on your list there? Before I. It'll be oh, something I, dumb, Hayden. Oh. It'll be like, what about the costumes? What are you going to wear no, the mask? No, stuff? Are you playing old stuff? We're not playing old stuff. We're playing stuff. We're actually reinterpreting a whole oeuvre on dulcimers. Shell, sellout, corporate rock, non-entity. That's us. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> not even here anymore. The connection's got, they hung up. Good Things 2022 Takeover, Triple M Hard and Heavy. Warning. Warning. Triple M Hard and Heavy is a 24-7 radio station 
with limited appeal. We play hard rock and heavy metal. And thankfully, nothing else. else. Classics from the vault. Breaking the law, breaking the law. 80s thrash. 90s new metal. Noise from the noughties. If you're looking for something else, go find it. Go Raise the horns, get in the pit and blast it now on the listener app. Search Triple M hard and heavy.